Hello, Taurus. I hope you're doing well. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. <clears throat> Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus, for Taurus' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Taurus in their life? And how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oh boy, you've been through a lot of heartbreak, Taurus. This is you trying to heal. Yeah, this is you trying to heal your heart. Trying to heal emotionally. Yeah, this is you uh, scared of trusting emotionally again. You've been through so much heartbreak. Yeah, you see this? This is you protecting yourself, protecting your heart because you don't want to go through additional heartbreak. This is you trying to concentrate on what makes you happy. Um, concentrating on yourself and healing your heart. Yeah. As far as your job is concerned, whatever it is you do for a living, you shine at it. But you feel unhappy with your life at this time overall. Uh, let me just close the blinds because it's too much sun coming through. <clears throat> I can't see the cards. Okay, that's better. You don't feel happy though. You feel like mm, something is missing from your life. Like you, you really are yearning for meaningful, loving relationship. You feel that that's what's missing from your life, but yet it's so hard for you to trust because you've been through so much emotionally. It's hard for you to open up emotionally in a new relationship with a new person. Yeah, you're concentrating heavily on finances. So it looks like your um, romantic uh, life is opposite of your professional life. You see, um, financial windfall is coming up for you. Blessings, financial windfall, blessings, money, opportunities, ideas. Beautiful. You shine at what you do. You are very talented. People admire you. Whatever it is you do for a living, whether you work for yourself or somebody else, uh, people recognize you as talented, yeah, gifted, beautiful. Universe, please show us. You have talents, yes. Um, what's coming up for Taurus? How is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? You are very intuitive. You read people well. You read energy, body language, eye contact, mannerism. You're very good at reading people. Yeah, you feel like maybe you're going to be alone. You're scared of going through additional heartbreak, but yet you feel like you need a solid relationship in your life. Yeah, this is you feeling like you need a long time to reflect, to spend time in nature. Yeah, this is you working diligently, having some kind of changes, ideas at your job or business. I wonder who this is. Let me see this emperor over here. Yeah, look at this. You feel like you're ready for change in your life. New beginning, new chapter. You miss your soulmate, though. Yeah, you still love the person. Yeah, you still love the person. You you miss them. You are learning patience and forgiveness. You are meeting new people. 
people who are influential, people of quality are entering your life through some kind of gatherings, social gatherings, parties, outings, celebrations, mutual friends and acquaintances. You see this? Birthday parties and so forth and so on. The soulmate that you're letting go of is not happy without you. This is them, but they're very proud. It's hard for them to reach out first, to apologize, to admit to their mistakes. We're going to ask about them. Yeah, they want to see you, but they need to earn that, right? Yeah, they need to earn it. They can't just casually drop by your door. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Taurus? How is Taurus currently doing? You view yourself as available, not in a relationship with anyone at this time. You don't know how badly that person that you've been dealing with, the soulmate you've been dealing with, the person you're thinking of while watching this video, wants to clear the air with you, communicate with you. You guys are so connected from past lifetimes. So minutes ago, we saw justice. Now we see six of cups, past life connection with this person. Yeah, you're not reaching out to them, though. You're not communicating. You're not chasing them. Yeah, this is you recognizing your worth, value, respecting yourself. Beautiful. Let me see what's going on with our soulmate. They showed up just now as uh, Knight of Swords and Emperor. This person has very hard time expressing emotions in intimate relationships. Um, yeah, it's something they're going to have to learn how to do in order to have a relationship that is of quality, right? Yeah. Universe, please show us. What is going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that Taurus has been dealing with? And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus? And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? They realized they didn't put work into this relationship. Look, look they worried. They're very worried that they may, they may have lost you forever for good. You see this? This is them losing sleep over this. They worried because they view you as attractive, alluring, available, not in a relationship with them. Yeah, you see? They realized why they lost you. My least favorite night of all nights, night of ones. Someone who's in and out, doesn't communicate effectively, doesn't commit, doesn't express emotions, doesn't listen, doesn't tell you where you stand in their life, what to expect, and so forth and so on. They realize why they lost you. So that's a very good sign, right? Because we all make mistakes. Nobody's mistake-free, nobody's perfect. But the good thing is about this situation is the fact that they realize why they lost you. The question is, what will they do about it to correct it, right? Yeah, you see, they know they can't just come back to you with pretty words and promises, but they need to bring you a solid offer because you are of quality. Whatever it is you're concentrating on uh, at your job, you're going to be successful. Or your business, you see success coming to you because you are diligent and talented. Yeah. You're not just sitting there waiting for things to happen. You are proactive. Beautiful. I love it. You know, please show us. Aha. Uh -huh. So some of you will be changing jobs altogether. The universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that Taurus has been dealing with. Yeah, you see, this soulmate views you as someone who is marriage material, someone of high quality. Yeah, they have problem communicating. Look how heartbroken they feel about losing you. They're very good at hiding those feelings, though, not showing them on the outside. They're worried, yeah, because they know you are very intuitive. You see this? They know you're not going to chase them because you respect yourself. You see this? They know that you are aware they have to prove themselves to you through actions. Yeah, they are checking up on you. These are my two favorite uh, court cards. When it comes to relationships, 
Knight of Wands and Page of Swords. This person needs to learn how to communicate effectively, honestly, and how to be a great listener because a great communicator also is a great listener. Mm -hmm. So, but they know that already. So that's a good sign. You see, they know they need to break this silence with you. You're not going to be chasing them. Yeah, you see, this is them trying to uh, go within. It's like they have a relationship with the job. It's like they married to the job. Uh, they unbalanced between the professional life and the personal life. They need to find balance. Yeah, you see, this person has deep passion for you. They're trying to figure out, is it too late to reconcile? Is reconciliation possible? Well, there's only one way, you see. This means apologies, peace offerings, gifts. What I am concerned about, however, is that none of these 13 cards is a suit of cups. Everything else is here. The swords, the wands, the pentacles, major arcanas, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. But I don't see the suit of cups, which is emotions, feelings. They're very good at hiding how they feel emotionally. For them to want to so badly come back to you, gain your trust, that means they love you, but they don't show it, don't express it. It's something they have to learn in order to be able to gain your trust again, to be able to function in a relationship that is healthy. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus. Finally, cops are showing up. Finally, emotions. They have a lot of confusion. Seven of cups is a lot of confusion. Yeah. A lot of different feelings they're feeling and they're trying to figure out how to tie them to this connection with you. They feel a lot of different emotions, unbalanced emotions are showing up here. Unexpressed emotions, yeah. This person has very hard time expressing emotions, especially in romantic relationships. they made out of a stone from the neck down. They're very proud. They're very proud. They are attractive. They are accomplished, successful, admired by a lot of people that work with them or for them. But when it comes to interpersonal relationships in the private life, they have a lot to improve on. Yeah, you see, you don't know how badly this person wants to see you. Yeah, you see, they know you're not going to accept them with the same behavior. Again, Knight of Wands, this time from smaller tarot deck. They know what the problem is, so that's a very good sign. The question is, what will they do about it, right? Taurus, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about the soulmate, but also new soulmates popping up in your life that showed up as Three of Cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they planning long term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.